Hey guys, my name is Dirich and I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your Dragon War Thor ELE G9 mouse. So this mouse is marketed as a gaming mouse, but um, as with any technology, after use it becomes worn out and it starts to not function as intended. And what happened to this mouse is every single click registers as a double click now because of course the buttons aren't as fresh as they used to be. So um, the fix for this is pretty simple, it just requires a little bit of patience and some time. So let's get started. First things first, unplug the mouse from the computer. You don't want to zap yourself or short any of the circuits out. Um, now uh, you want to open this mouse up to get access to these clickers for these buttons. So um, there are screws located underneath the mouse. and You'll see uh, there used to be a sticker here, so you have to peel this sticker off, and then there's the bottom two grips have to come off. The top one can stay. So we have one screw here, one here, one here, and a little tab release right there. So go ahead and take your screwdriver and pull all these screws out. Okay, so once you have the screws out, you want to take your screwdriver and there's a little tab in there. So put it in like this and push against the tab. So you can release the mouse's frame from the top body. So once you've done that, it's just kind of sliding motion. So it does that, it kind of comes out. And you'll see it's resistant coming out on this side. You just have to pull back a little bit. So you do that and it'll snap out like this. So here you can see the inside of the mouse. And you can you can set the frame aside for now. You don't, you don't need that. Although, um, there's one thing you might want to check, these little actuators, make sure they're completely flat because if those get worn out too, it results in unwanted mouse presses. But these look pretty good, so I'm going to I'm gonna put this aside for now. Um, coming to the actual mouse circuit board, what we want to fix are these two. So these are what makes the click of the button happen. So to get to those, first pull out this rubber bit from the mouse and pull out the circuit board. Um, you can set this aside. Make sure you don't move this around too much. I mean, you can, but just make sure it goes in this way, not the other way around. So, set that aside. Um, you can make this pop out by just kind of, okay, so you have to lift towards this side and then kind of just slide it out to the side. And this kind of gets in the way, so you want to get rid of that. Set it aside. Um, now to fix these, all you have to do is so there's little tabs on the side you'll see, and you'll see they, they don't, they make clicking noises, but you can hear that. You want them, you want them to be very, very clicky, so the better the click, the better the button is, because that's more tactile response. Now, um, my problem is with the left click, so I'm going to fix this one, but if you have a problem with any of the other buttons, you can access those as well. Uh, same technique, you just have to apply it to those. So. Take your screwdriver, put it under this tab, and kind of lift lift this tab out carefully. Don't break this housing. You just want to lift it out carefully. So once you get the tab lifted, and it might take a little bit of prying, it's okay. You're not gonna. Um, so once once it's lifted off a little bit, like that, um, you want to pull it off. Now some mice have the other side accessible. So once you have one side off, just push the other side and it'll come off. This one has it tied against this little piece right here. So to get it off, I have to twist on this mouse. And um, it will kind of just fly out that way. So if I do that, it's going to. Okay, so once you have the housing off, you'll see there's one piece like this, which is the actual housing on top of it. And this little small bit, you want to save this bit, this is very important. Um, it looks like that. But this is what actually clicks the mouse, you want to keep this, so put these two aside. And now you have access to the actual clicking mechanism. So essentially it's just one metal copper spring plate, so there's a plate right there and it's connected by two notches here and there so uh, right here 
where one latches on and the other one latches on right there in the middle. So that's where it's connected. Now what you want to do is straighten that curved part there. So pop off the spring. Uh, it'll come off either by hand or with a little bit of flying from a screwdriver. You kind of twist it off to the side. Kind of that's the best way to get it off. That's what I found. Um, once it comes out, you have this. So that's what it looks like. And you want to straighten that curved bit. Now, of course, different mice have different mechanisms. Um, some require you to actually curve it some more. This one requires you to flatten it. So don't flatten it too much again because that will cause the mouse to um, not want to get put back together again. It'll just kind of fly out when you try to put it back together. So uh, you can put a little bit of force on the screwdriver or just your finger and kind of make it a little bit flatter than it originally was. Now, um, all you have to do is put it back together again, and this, this will last like six months-ish. After that, you'll probably have to do it again because, as with all technology, it will wear out. So, now, putting it back is a two-step process. So one, or it's actually three steps, you gotta put the edge underneath the metal bit, then the spring should latch onto that middle bit, and finally the edge piece should notch onto the end. So there's three bits. There's one, this should go under there, this should sit under that little frame. I don't know if you can see that, if I can. Okay, um, this should sit under this frame. This should, there's a little notch in that middle stand thingy. So this should, in that little stand. So this should, this should notch in right there. And there's another notch, uh, if I can get that to focus. There we go, there we go. Let's just um, focus on that, okay. So there's another notch right here that keeps this in place. So there's one notch there, one notch here. So you can probably see from the side view those notches. And you want to make sure those are in place. Do not let the spring go below that notch. Do not let this sit below the notch on the on the actual white surface because that will cause it to be mushy. Now you can test the click. Just take your screwdriver or whatever and push on this part. You can, you can feel the click and you can probably hear it too. Once it sounds kind of satisfying, you can adjust that again if it's not clicky enough, of course, but um, once that sounds kind of satisfying, all you have to do is put the casing back on. Now for this part, uh, you have to put this back into the casing before you actually get it into the mouse. So what you want to do here is grab some tweezers. Um, tweezers help a lot. Uh, it's pretty hard without them. So uh, it'll have two, two sides, a big one and a small one. So there'll be a big side and a small side. And you want to grab the bigger one with the tweezers, like so, and make sure it's lined up with the tweezers. So once that's like that, um, you want to get it into the casing. So there's a little hole right there. Set it into there, and just kind of let go with the tweezers. So once it's sitting in the hole like that, you want to snap this back onto that circuit board. So leave it upside down, it's going to fall out otherwise. And then remember which side you had against the outside. It's probably the scratched up one, that's how I remembered it. And just take the board, put it on top, and then click this back into place. So it's just slide on top and it'll kind of snap on like that. So you can test the clickiness, pushing the button, so you can probably hear that. Once that sounds satisfactory, it's time to put the mouse back together again. So put this down here. Um, and you want these to line up like they did before, so the sensor should go like so. So this has to sit like this on here. And that means we have to get that on there and put this this way. So these wires, when um, I was taking it apart, they went from underneath here and around the stand thing. So I'm just going to slide those where they belong. Um, I think, yeah, this is very important. You don't want to forget the scroll wheel at this point, so it's hard to put it on once you have it on the frame. Um, there's like little hexagonal notches on the scroll wheel again, so put the board into its little pegs. There's like little holding pegs on the surface of the frame. It's, just, it's gonna slide into, it's gonna sit flush with that. If it, if it moves around, that's fine. Uh, make sure the sensor is aligned on the bottom, so you have that alignment right there. Where that's aligned with that. Um, then all you have to do is pop the casing back on. So now there's there's two tabs up front over here that you want to line these up with and slide this 
onto there like so. So once you have disconnected to those, um, it might take a little bit of fidgeting around. Okay, um, yeah, so once it's in the tabs, you just have to slide this body kind of forward onto that, like so. So once you just kind of push it forward, so it's kind of, it's listed backward, you just push it into the here, and then check the seam to make sure it's all flush. So this is, this all looks good, and then check the clickiness of the buttons, make sure they're all lined up. If they all click as they should, you are good. All you have to do is put the screws back in, and you should be done. So again, there is a tab over here that should have clicked in once you um, put the cover on. Then so once it's assembled, it should be solid and it should click perfectly. You should hear a nice, solid, tactile click. Um, at this point, you can take your mouse, plug it back into the computer and uh, go ahead and check it, make sure it's actually clicking like it should. So if we have, uh, I think it's working, I think that's good. So that is how you fix your Dragon War Thor ELE G9 mouse when it's double clicking instead of single clicking when you click the mouse button. Thank you for watching this video guys, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.